In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and a complete setup of your Canon Maxify GX3020 all-in-one wireless mega tank printer. So this is a mega tank printer. You can use it for home or office. And this printer can print up to 18 black pages per minute and 13 color pages per minute. And you can just use the inbuilt auto two sided printing option this is a wireless printer can print up to 6000 black pages or 14000 color pages and it uses the ink number 26 let's do the unboxing and the setup let's start with the unboxing And the one more thing which I forgot to tell you like this printer can print up to 9000 black pages if you use the economy print mode and 21000 color pages so that's a huge difference. So take the ink out from the box so there are four ink bottles and black is the large one 26. It also comes with the setup manual. In this box you will see the power cable. Next is to take the printer out so it has a big bag and you can just lift it take it out of the plastic packaging and remove the protective tape There is one at the back and another two at the bottom. One is here, so you just have to lift it and just remove this tape. Lift it again and it will close itself. Next step is to plug in the power cable. So go to the back side of the printer. So that's the place to plug in the power cable. Press the power button to switch on the printer. Once you see the main screen with the selection of language, that is the starting of the initial setup. Select your language, press OK. Confirm with the Yes. Select date and press OK. Select time and press OK. For the updates, you can click on the On or you can also select Off. Next is to fill the ink tanks. So black ink is on the left hand side whereas the three color ink will go here to fill the ink tank you have to lift this whole section up and it will stand itself so fill the ink tanks we can start with black or color so let's start with the color so let's fill the color ink let's start with the yellow remove the seal and just place it here and let it fill it place the cap close it go to the next so just same thing open the cap place it here facing down and you will hear the sound like it's filling up the ink tank once it is filled in you just have to remove it
close the cap close it open the next place it here once it is filled in we can just remove so this is the largest bottle so it will take a little bit extra time to fill once it is filled in you can just remove it close the cap just lift it up and let it go down so it will close the door completely now go to the main screen once the ink tanks are full you will see the message start alignment to improve the print quality so that's a good thing so click yes press ok next is to load the a4 size or letter size paper paper tray is just here open it adjust the size and place letter size or a4 size paper close it on the main screen you just have to wait for the calibration so it's going to take around 10 minutes so we just have to wait for it paper output tray is here So it has done the auto print head alignment and if you look at the screen we can see the main screen of the printer and it says copy scan maintenance that means our printer is almost ready to use we can do the copy right now to do the printing and scanning we have to do the Wi-Fi setup or wireless setup so let's connect with the home or office Wi-Fi network and then we will add this printer in a smartphone for wireless printing and scanning you can also add it in a macbook or laptop to do the wireless setup scroll down click on the settings select the first option LAN setting select Wi-Fi Scroll down and click on the Wi-Fi setup. So we are going to do the manual connect. Click on the manual connect. It will give you the list of wireless networks. You just have to select your Wi-Fi and enter your Wi-Fi password. So here is the list. click next select user one router only and press ok select the first MAC address and press ok click next from this screen we have to enter the password for the capital letters you can go down and press ok so it will change to the alphabets numbers special characters make it uh, capital letters press the arrow button and now you can select your password once you enter the complete password you just have to go down and press ok button Printer is connected to the wireless router. Press OK. Click on the home button. Now go to your smartphone. I am going to use iPhone. You can also use the Android phone. Download the Canon print app. You can download it from the app store. Select it. 
agree with the terms and conditions and then click OK to add the printer click on the add switch and on the next page you can click on the register printer it will search for the available printers select Canon GX3 triple zero series and press OK your printer is installed close this window to print photos you can start now just close the window on the top we can see our printer with estimated level of ink and now we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning so let's print a document you can select any photo or any document you have for example this one click next click on the print that is done so this printer can do the auto two-sided printing so let's do that press ok close it and this page is so click next click on the change setting option select two-sided long edge and click on the print icon So that's the way we can do the two sided printing with this printer. So let's do the scanning. For the scanning we have to use the top scanner. So lift it and place a page you want to scan on this corner. So it doesn't have an ADF tray, it's just the scanner. In the app section we have to go to the main screen. And here we can see the scan icon, select it. If you want to make any changes in the settings you can do that and then go back and click on the scan. scan is transferred if you want to add more pages you can place a second page on the top of the scanner and then click on the scan so this will make the two copies To exit the scan click on the exit icon and both the pages are here. If you want to share it you can click this icon. It will give you the option save it as a JPEG or use as a PDF. On the next screen it will give you the option and you can just save it to the files or you can just save to other location. You can change the name of the file and then click on the save. Go back, press ok go to the main screen so this way we can do the unboxing and a complete setup of this printer thanks for watching